second part of um, my like crown braid series <laughs> duo. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know what you would call it. This one takes just a little bit more time, but not too much. This part you don't have to do, it just helps it keep it a bit more clean so then you're not taking tons of hair from the back. Um, but I'm going to do a part on each side of my head. Just so that at the beginning of my hair, I'm not taking a bunch of hair from the back. And then when I get to the back, I'll still have a little bit. Okay, so to start this one, I turn my head completely to the side. Now this one I'm doing is a Dutch crown braid. It's like, it's a Dutch braid in the form of a crown braid. Um, but you can do a Dutch or French. They're very similar. They're pretty much the exact same thing. It's just that um, the Dutch braid goes underneath the middle strand instead of going over the middle strand. And the Dutch braid helps it stick out a little bit more from what I've noticed. Okay, so taking a small section right above my ear, I'm going to section it into three pieces as if I were going to do just a normal braid. So I have three pieces. The first front piece by my closest to my face, I'm going to put that under the middle strand. And then the strand farthest away from my face, I'm going to put that under the middle strand as well. And I'm going to repeat that. So the strand closest to my face goes under the middle strand. The strand farthest away from my face goes under the middle strand. So there are a couple different ways to do a Dutch braid. You can continue like what we just did, in which case you would take the front strand, you'd put it under the middle strand, and then you would grab hair and stick it in with the middle strand. So you could do that, and then you would continue with the back doing that way as well. Um, but I prefer to just take hair from the actual side that I'm putting the strand under which probably makes no sense. So um, let me just try and show you. So the back strand, I'm going to add hair to that, just like a French braid. And I'm going to put that under the middle strand. Now the front strand, I'm going to add hair to that front strand and put that under the middle strand. So as you can see, it's pretty much the same thing as if you were to add a strand of hair to the middle strand every time and not the outer strands. Um, it would be a little bit more uniform looking actually if you were to do it that way. But I find that it's easier done this way and it doesn't make a huge difference in the way that it looks for a crown braid anyways. So I added some hair to the back strand. I'm putting that under the middle strand. And you'll make sure that it stays kind of neat so you don't have a bunch of bumps. And now adding hair to the front strand, I'm putting that under the middle strand. And basically you just repeat this around your entire head. So as you can see you're starting to get a little bit of a braid. Now it doesn't really matter if you make this, I like, when I, when I first do this I like to make it tight to ensure that my bangs stay in there, but then when we're done we're going to go through and loosen it. So it's not going to look so like, I don't know, harsh. But if you have bangs, you're probably going to have a few sections sticking out like this in the front. Um, don't really worry about that. We can go in when we're done and bobby pin those sections. And then this is another one where I'm staying very close to my hairline. You don't want to stray too far from your hairline. So as you can see, my bangs are like sticking out all over the place. Again, don't worry about that. If you have bangs, <laughs> we'll fix that. Okay, now once you've run out of hair um, from your part, just let the other part out. And this just helped prevent you from using a bunch of hair back there.
And something that helps your bottom strand, you want to take hair right from your hairline and add it to that one. And then this strand that's above your hairline, you want to take hair from the top that's close to that strand. can see it's kind of like well okay now when you've run out of hair you want to make sure that's nice and tight because we're gonna have to pull it up just go ahead and continue braiding just a normal braid but you want to braid it up like this because we're going to be taking it over our head. Okay, now if you wanted to leave it like this, where you have your Dutch braid, um, you could and you just are going to tie it off and bobby pin it. Um, but I like to separate mine a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, there's kind of like a funny bump. That's because we braided it up. Whereas if you were to just braid it straight down, you wouldn't have that bump. But then when you go to put it up like this, you would have a big loose section right here. So now what we are going to do... Uh, the front looks totally ridiculous right now. <laughs> um, at the very ends, you're going to start pulling. So th there are these two sides, right? You're going to grab the very end of that side and pull it out. To create them like almost like a little, I don't know, it's like flat. So you just want to tug at the sides, just makes it look a little bit thicker. So now you should have a big flat, thick braid like this, and you're going to continue to do the whole, um, the rest of your head as well. Okay, now the top section you want to do the same thing, but it's not really as important to do the top section, um, especially bangs. If you have bangs, you don't want to pull it too much because then your bangs just start to fall out. Um, but also because this is going to be covering it, so it's not really that important. Okay, now if you have bangs like me, um, now's the time to go through and just bobby pin them in. Just shove them in there somewhere, it doesn't really matter where. All right, and I'll take this and lay it over your head. So as you can see, this one's a bit more like elaborate looking. I don't even, I don't know how you describe it. It's just bigger <laughs> than the two strand braid. And then you're just going to bobby pin it to the top of your head. And then you're gonna take the ends and you can lift your braid just like with the two strand braid or just twist, whatever. Stick it in there. And then you can just go through and pull apart any of the ends that you want to make just a bit more dramatic. Okay, and this is the finished braid. Three strand braid. Now, um, like I said earlier, this one I chose to do a Dutch braid, but you can do the exact same thing with a French braid. Just go over the middle strand instead of under the middle strand. That's the only difference. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, and thank you for taking the time to watch it. Bye!